Hi, I'm Jill Rep from June Taylor. Make those pretty log cabin blocks using strips from your stash that are one and a half inch wide and the Quick Cabin Ruler by June Taylor. We have one to make smaller size blocks such as these which are seven inches or you can also use your leftover two and a half inch strips and use the larger Quick Cabin Ruler to make blocks that are 14 inches. Let's show you how. To start out, we're going to need seven different fabrics. And again, these are all going to be an inch and a half strips. So, our directions are going to tell us out of the first strip exactly what we need to cut out of the second strip and so on. So out of the first strip, my instructions tell me that I need to fold my strip in half again, so I'm cutting through four layers, and I need to make one cut at one and a half. So I'm going to layer my strips underneath the ruler and you can see a dotted line marking on the top and the bottom of my half inch strip. So I make sure that I've got that lined up and I do. I expose the blade on my cutter and I cut at zero and I cut at one and, my, one and a half. And that gives me four one and a half inch blocks. And those are going to be used for the center of my quilt. For the second color I can again fold my strip in half again, so I'm cutting through, lay through four layers. It tells me I need one cut at one and a half, and I need one cut at two and a half. So I'm going to line up my fabric underneath the dotted line on the ruler, and I'm going to make my first cut at zero, one and a half, so that'll give me my second set of squares. And my second cut I'm going to need at two and a half. So zero and two and a half. Now I have my second cuts done. I'll set those aside and I'll just do one more for you. I'll do the third. Again, I can fold my fabric in half one more time so I'm cutting through four layers. I put my ruler over the top and the third strip, my instructions tell me I need to cut at zero and two and a half and then zero and three and a half. So let's start by cutting at zero and two and a half, and I'll set that up here, and then at zero again, lining it up, and three and a half. And you're going to continue this on until you have all seven fabrics cut exactly the way we instruct you to do it on the sheet. Now that my strips are cut, we're going to begin by piecing. So you always start with the first two squares, and those will be sewn together. They'll look something like this. And then you start adding the actual rectangles or the log cabin blocks. And I'll lay out just a few of them, but you'll get the idea here on how you quickly go around and build your cabin. But right sides together and continue to build out from the center. And when you do, your log cabin will start to emerge. And this is what it's going to look like when your sewing is complete. Once you get your four log cabin blocks done, then you have to figure out how to position them because you can get a lot of different looks depending on if you put the darker sides in one position or the other. So here's just one example of it, but I wanted to show you the size of what four blocks would give you. So if you like this size but you wanted a larger quilt, you'd obviously just need to make more of the same log cabin blocks. Here's an example of the two and a half inch quick cabin ruler. And that finished block size is about 14 inches. Again, you'll note here we put a lot of the darker fabrics toward the center. So our log cabin has a completely different look. But regardless, if you have two and a half inch strips or one and a half inch strips, using the quick cabin ruler is the perfect solution for those strips. They make beautiful quilts.